Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Next up for today we're going to be taking a look at some Clone Wars figure and vehicle deluxe packs. The first one I want to give you a look at is this one. This is the Armoured Scout Tank with Tactical Droid. Um, quite a basic set. Um, the vehicle included is a very minimal um, repaint and the droid um, could do with some improvements as well. Um, but if you're like me and you're just looking for a cheap way of uh, bulking up your Separatist armies and uh, providing some cannon fodder for your clones, then uh, it's definitely a pack I recommend picking up. So before we get on to uh, the details of the figure and the vehicle, as always, we're going to take a look at the packaging that it comes in. Um, like with most figure and vehicle sets, um, it is um, packaged in the Shadow of the Dark Side blue and black packaging. On the side there you've got an image of the tactical droid and on the other side you've got an image of the droid piloting the tank. Um, the backdrop inside the packaging does convert to a diorama and in this instance it's the uh, backdrop of Ryloth. On the back of the packaging you've got an image of the product itself along with a couple of diagrams of the features. You've also got the product description at the top which you can either pause and have a read of if you want or alternatively you can find that in the video description and then at the side there you've got a couple of other packs available in the deluxe range so there is the packaging pretty cool uh, now on to the product itself like with most Clone Wars um, products it does indeed come with a battle game card and as you can see you've got an image of the droid at the top as well as the character name to accompany it below so this droid is TA-175 and of course you do indeed get the uh, standard Clone Wars display stand as well. So on to the figure and vehicle. As I said, the, uh, the vehicle itself is uh, pretty minimal. Um, there's not a whole lot to it. Um, in terms of features, the only real uh, action that it has is the switch on the back can be turned. And when this happens, the missiles here on the side do fire out. Um, I don't know whether it's just my bad luck, but with every single one of these tanks that I've purchased, the missiles never fire out the way I want them to. Um, so I'm not going to bother demonstrating that, but basically all you do is just turn the knob at the back and the missiles will go firing out. Um, on the side there you've got the Tactical Droid logo, and as opposed to the previous deluxe pack release of this tank, which was a much more metallic silver and blue colour scheme, this one is a much more um, flat grey accompanied with um, almost purple like flashes um, I'm pretty sure it's blue but you know it's, it's that close to being purple so there you go, quite, quite different and as I said it's one of those uh, alternate repaints that's just different enough to drive you crazy so if you're a variant collector then this is definitely one to add to your collection um, other than that there's really no other features to talk about um, there is of course handlebars at the front for the figure to hold on to and there's also a clip at the back um, to hold the figure so that it doesn't um, flop around too much um, speaking of the figure let me just take it off the vehicle um, the droid itself is a repaint of 2010's TX20 figure um, if you remember that figure before um, TX20 was primarily blue with beige highlights where in this instance TA175 is primarily beige with blue highlights um, so a pretty cool variant of the droid um, articulation is still the same as TX20 and there is still plenty of room for improvement on this figure um, he has a ball jointed neck, ball and socket joint shoulders, hinged elbows, swivel wrists, a swivel torso, ball and socket joint hips, no articulation in the knees and ball and socket joint ankles um, so it really is a mixed bag in terms of articulation um, and also as you can see in terms of accessories he does come with the standard battle droid blaster so a pretty nice addition as I said to your droid ranks but uh, if you're not a massive fan of the Separatists or the Clone Wars or you know I wouldn't recommend picking this one up um, but as I said if you're like me and you just want a few cheap options for your droid armies um, then this is a pretty cool one to pick up so I think I've just about covered all the bases with this figure and vehicle set once again both the figure and vehicle included in the pack um, are repaints so there's nothing too exciting about this release um, but as I said it's still pretty cool nonetheless 
So if you can find this one at the right price, I highly recommend you go out and pick it up. Um, I wouldn't recommend paying full price for it, there's, there's really not enough there to warrant the value for money. Um, but if you can find it on clearance or something like that, at a reduced price, then uh, definitely pick this one up. So there we go, that is the Armoured Scout Tank with Tactical Droid. Hope you enjoyed having a look at this figure and vehicle set, and I'll be back with a couple more next, so stay tuned. Until next time, keep collecting, and may the force be with you.